months, it's a beautiful yellow peony, uh, which is quite different from the previous three months. So we've got yellow this month, we had white and pink. So when I was painting it, um, it's kind of, I need to switch my mind. Okay, how can I get the color right? But, but uh, aren't, you, aren't you more a pink girl than yellow? Well, actually, it's funny you say that. <laughs> I'm more a blue girl. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Uh, my favorite color is actually blue and turquoise, um, okay. but I, I, I do find myself uh, using a lot of pink in uh, my design, my painting, and, and I often say to people, uh, while I'm wearing a pink top or dress, I say to people, I don't like pink. Um, <laughs> So I guess I like pink. <laughs> so um, when I was uh, doing the paintings, actually yellow, uh, yellow is a fascinating uh, color to paint um, because you have a range of yellow, like in a few episodes before I talked about uh, green. Um, yellow, you have very like uh, towards lemon, lemony yellow, and then you You, you have those more uh, creamy whitish yellow uh, as well. Um, so I'm trying to get the, the color right. As you mentioned, Heath, it's a uh, um, buttercup yellow. Um, so it has a bit of orangey, orange in, in, in there. I have a question between <laughs> you, Siwen. What colour would, uh, from a painter's point of view, what colour would you put with Garden Treasure? I actually uh, would put either purple or blue. Oh. Um, because I always look at uh, contrast colour uh, to complement. The co uh, opposite colour of yellow is blue. Um, but sometimes if the yellow has a bit orange or red in it, then I will go with purple. But sometimes, um, I think it was years, a few years ago, I received a uh, Christmas package uh, from Ireland. Packaging was this uh, creamy yellow uh, with green and it looked very European and the combination was lovely. Mm -hmm. And I would put green, but the green is not bright green, but grey-ish green with the creamy yellow. I would put these two together because the cream, the whitish in the yellow will complement the grey very well. So if it's a bright yellow, I would contrast it with uh, blue or purple. If it's creamy yellow, I would go for the grayish green. Interesting, interesting. I, I would go for, my biggest dream is to create a garden only in yellow. Wow. So I would create, I would only use gray and yellow and a bit of brown as a, a, um, a dark contrast. But that's my biggest dream. One day before I, I pass away, I haven't decided if I ever will, but uh, I want to create this yellow garden full of sunshine. And I think it will, it will be beautiful to also use the pastel yellows there, definitely, but all shades of yellow up to this peony because it it is magnificent. Yeah. The the okay. thing is with the with the pale yellows uh, and the sort of more limey ones and the the lemony ones is they're great for brightening up areas. If you've got like it when we were at Chelsea two years ago, we had uh, Millium effusum aureum, which is a a very pale grass. It's a very limey sort of coloured grass. But we had it set against really, really dark hostas and the floaty light heads of it and then the the leaves sort of drooping down off this very sort of limey, lemony yellow. It was just stunning, absolutely stunning. And for a grass that a lot of people will just walk past, 
we had a lot of uh, people coming up to us asking, what's that grass? What's that grass? Mm. Just that, just that contrast. And it just adds that light to it. Mm.